Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Hopefully you're doing well as well. Here we are halfway through the first full week of September. First week of September, I guess. Yes. It's hard to believe it's here. Coming up this morning, uh, we're of course, everybody's getting into back to school mode. And so with that, we got some back to school conversations to get to this morning. Yes. Uh, one of the, the, here's the topic for today. Think back to when you were in school. Let's okay. talk about what was the it look for the first day mm. of school back in your back in the day, back and, when you yeah, went to pick school. Pick a year, yeah, maybe your prime middle school, high school, or whenever, whatever stands out in your mind. I'll just say it was hammer pants. <laughs> One of my years. I've told that story before, but maybe we'll tell. Maybe maybe uh, we'll tell that again. That that could be fun. So share yours. Hit us up on our mobile app or join the conversation on Facebook. Also, uh, CDC is offering some recommendations related to the. The, the back to school season. Okay. Got some details for you there that parents should be aware of. And coming up here in a matter of minutes, does Taylor Swift have a career in football coaching? Well, okay, maybe. Prob- <laughs> I, why? Well, apparently she's been getting involved in some stuff with the team that okay. her boyfriend plays for. Okay, it's interesting. So we'll, we'll dive into that later on this morning. Uh, plus song is 60s on the way in minutes and Tony's... Got a song ready? Gonna get a song ready in the next few minutes? Yeah, no, I got a song. I uh, I uh, I uh, picked it out at karaoke this week when oh, I was doing karaoke. I'm like, nice. I don't think we've done this song. All right. And the kids love it every week. They sing it. So let's go. <laughs> I have a guess, but I'm not gonna say it yet. No, it's probably not the one you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mix 108, good morning. It is the Morning Brew. It's Tony and Nick. It's time to play Song in 60, a fun little game where we try to guess what a song is by some clues. Today, I will be giving the clues to the song that is uh, in my head right now. And okay. we'll uh, try to guess what it is, okay? You're hyped up about this one, so I'm looking forward uh, to it. Yeah, a little bit. I, I, the, kids, uh, the kids love it. Okay. I I know every word to it now because it plays every week during karaoke, and I've read the lyrics a hundred times, so I know the words of okay. the song, and I will be singing along. Okay. We do play the intro. So here we go. Song in 60 starts right now. Um, 2004, female. Um, um, let's see... Christine Aguilar. No, 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 Kelly no. Clarkson. Uh, the cartoon characters. Uh, oh, <laughs> gosh, what was the uh, what was the show? Um, um, uh, from Bullwick, Bull, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, um, uh, uh, female uh, villain. Oh, oh what's um, her name? What's her name? Just give me her first name. Uh, uh, Natasha yeah. Bedingfield. Okay, yeah, yeah, unwritten. Yeah, yeah. Natasha had to, had to pull a Rocky and Bullwinkle to get to that one. That was a, that, I had to go a long way around to get there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did it, though. You did it. But I knew all we had to do, do was get Natasha, yeah. and we'd be good. So yeah. and she's got some heaters, so and she does. Yeah. But she, this is the this is the number one banger. Mix what away morning brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. We are one day away from the start of the. NFL season. Okay. And coincidentally, the start of the season is going to feature Taylor Swift boyfriend's football team. Oh, at home? I I think they're at home. Nice. So I bring this all up because Taylor Swift has been uh, apparently getting involved with some playmaking for the Kansas City Chiefs. get out of here. (laughs) So... So what's funny about this is downtime. So she's writing up some plays. Sure. So did you watch the show quarterback on, on Netflix at all? Some of it, not all of it. So one of the things that was kind of interesting when, cause Patrick Mahomes was mm-hmm. one of the players that they followed. Yeah. And he admitted that the players will come up with some crazy names and, and weird plays and stuff. Right. To try to, you know, throw in once in a while. And we've seen some of them in games. And Andy Reid embraces it. The head coach, he's like, okay, this is fun. So apparently there's a news report I found that says that Taylor Swift, who's been watching some practices and stuff from the bleachers, has been contributing by coming up with some plays okay. for the team. All right. Um, yeah, the story says she started drawing up some plays for the team, according to uh, her friend, the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. 
Uh, he goes on to say in a news report to uh, NBC Sports, she's really interested in football and she asks a lot of great questions. Uh, she started drawing up plays and we might have to put one or two in this season. You know, that's funny. I know somebody in Taylor Swift's camp, and they I, I asked them about this story, and they sent me some of her plays. Actually. Oh, really? They sent, me okay. some, they sent me some of the plays that she's come up with. Uh, one of them is uh, offensive called the uh, the Shake It Off Screen Pass. Oh. A uh, quick screen pass where the receiver pretends to be heartbroken, shaking it off <laughs> as they make a sharp cut and juke past the defender for a big okay. game. All right. I like that one. That could work. I like it. Here's a defensive play. We call it the Bad Blood Blitz. It's a relentless blitz package where the defense brings everyone looking to cause bad blood on the opposing team's backfield and sack the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those are good. You need to calm down delay of game, a trick play where the offense intentionally delays the snap, causing the defense to get frustrated and jump offside, resulting in a free play. Wow. She's a, a bigger football mind than I thought. The, we are never getting back together. Goal line stand. The defense stands strong at the goal line, refusing to let the opposing team score, just like a determined ex-lover. Wow. And finally, <laughs> the 22-22 option play on 22. The 22-yard line, the, on the 22-yard line, the quarterback has the option to run, pass, or pitch the ball, keeping the defense guessing, just like a 22-year-old's unpredictable nature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are just some of the plays she's written up for the Chiefs. So we'll see if any of them make it into the, you know, rotation, the game rotation. Well, you know what's going to happen is at some mm. point there will be some interview post game where mm. some player, probably Mahomes, will admit, yeah, that play that scored that touchdown. Yeah, it was, that drawn, was a Taylor play. It was drawn up by T Swift. Yep. Amazing. So, can't wait for that moment. Well, maybe that's a future for a football coach. You never what know. Else, you know. What else? Multi she... Some people have all the talent. She's got a lot of time on her hands traveling on that private plane. So she's sitting there just, watching uh, game film. Draw on. <laughs> Coming up, Nick's nonsense here in a couple minutes. So we talked yesterday about uh, the big, uh, the big beef off the 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 hot Excuse dog me. eating contest yes. between oh, yes. Joey Chestnut and Kobayashi. Well, mm. there was another food contest over the holiday weekend really? that I found kind of interesting, and I'll share the details on that coming up here and mix it away. Nick's nonsense on a Wednesday morning. We head to Michigan. We're over the Labor Day weekend. There was another food-related contest. We talked about the big one. The unfinished beef with yeah. uh, Kobayashi Kobe and, and, and uh, Chestnut. Joey Chestnut, yeah. We know Joey Chestnut set a world record. Yeah. Kind of smoked Kobayashi by, by like 20 hot dogs or so. Yeah. So there was another food event, as I mentioned, over the weekend. This time around, it was not, well, it was a, it was a beverage kind of condiment-related thing. If that makes sense. So, I was going to say, it's not ketchup it, it, then. No, it's not ketchup. So this was the first ever of its, uh, of its type in this town. It was a ranch drinking competition. This I mean, seems I like, like ranch, but not just ugh. straight up ranch. No, this seems like something you could do in Minnesota. Minnesotans love their ranch. Uh, so the contest, you had to, in order to win, you had to chug 24 ounces of this company's ranch. It's a... Uh, a local company called the uh, Harmful Rooster. That okay. sounds awful. Uh, why you would call something harmful and want it to be food related? But anyway, so it. How long do you think it took this person to to chug to to guzzle twenty four ounces of ranch to win? Mm, Ten minutes. <laughs> you are off by a few, sir. Uh, so this guy named Zach, he was the winner. He. Chugged all 24 ounces. I think that's a lot of liquid to drink. Yeah. In, no matter what it is. He did it in 10 seconds. Dang. Ugh. Yeah. 10 seconds he drank all this ranch in. When asked how he consumed so much ranch so quickly, Zach said, I've seen people pour about that much on their salads. What's the difference? I don't know about that, but interesting argument. Um, so apparently there was a pretty decent... I'm looking at a picture from the story... There was maybe a good dozen or so people that uh, competed in this uh, contest. And there were others that were on a waiting list. So they actually apparently capped it at 12 people is what they did. Dang. And uh, there were others that got close. But Zach, this guy, he did it in 10 seconds. Man. I 
I, I couldn't. I, I, I'm not a big ranch guy in the first place. See, I like ranch. I like dipping stuff in ranch, but not just drinking ranch. No thanks. Pass on that. The the one that the thing that comes to mind, of course, is from the movie uh, Super Troopers chugging the the syrup. <laughs> Did that in Elf too, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. But I couldn't do either. I don't know that I could do a chugging contest of no, any kind. Yeah. I, I just wouldn't be able to do well with that. So there's Nick's nonsense for this morning. We'll see what's trending at the top in a couple minutes here. Mix it up. Live from the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth, this is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. Another nice day in the cards for the most part. We're going to see temperatures getting up to around 80. Probably sunny, breezy. Then a chance of some showers and storms tonight. Now, some of those could be on the strong to severe side. The timing for those expected to be for most of the Northland after 9 p.m. So between 9 p.m. and maybe tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. So overnight is when those are going to roll through. That's not good, though. There must be some kind of cold front coming through or something. You're not wrong, because oh, tomorrow we're going to see temperatures in the upper 60s with some more rain chances. Oh. Friday, a high of maybe maybe 60. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and then Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, looking at temperatures low 60s. Sunday, we start rebounding back in the 70s. Now, Friday and Saturday, there is a chance of some frost. Could be the first frost of the season for the Northland. In not widespread everywhere, uh, away from the lake, places maybe on the Iron Range or uh, away from the lake on the North Shore, get right. in, you know, a few miles those are the the best chance we got actually got a map from the weather service that offers those so could see some 30s friday and saturday night but then we start warming back up next week back into the 70s again so yeah that's what awful that's what awful about this time of the year is like it's nice and warm during the day but like in the morning it's extra cold drops like down this morning yeah. uh, i was like woo yep it's cold in these shorts i know it's gonna be warm later but right now <laughs> Man, not good. You'll be okay. All right. After 16 years, uh, Superior Business is either got to find a new owner or they need to close Earth Exchange in Superior. Um, the owners are facing some health challenges, and despite being passionate about the business and they say business is good, uh, they need to find a new owner um, or they'll have to be forced to close their doors. They have opened in 2008, and they sell a bunch of... Uh, it's kind of a thrift shop. They sell recycled uh, merchandise, but they also have a selection of new furniture and new mattresses there as well. Um, if you want more information and maybe you want to buy Earth Exchange, they own the building too, so that's a plus for them. They yeah, don't have you're to, not paying rent then. Yeah, their lease isn't going up. You know, it's a problem with a lot of these small businesses. Yeah. They have these leases, but they keep going up so crazy. Right, yep. Uh, so anyways, you want to get more information about Earth Exchange and its future, you can hit up the Mix 108 app or go to Mix108.com. Coming up a little bit later on this morning, what is a back-to-school fashion trend that comes to mind? Something maybe you were proud to have, have sported yourself or maybe yeah. you remembered but didn't yeah. participate in? Yeah, you don't necessarily need to be proud. Though. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this I, is true. I, I, However, it stands not, out in your mind. I'm not proud of some of my first day outfits that Whatever I can think reason. of. <laughs> Let us know what comes to mind for you. Hit us up on our mobile app or join the conversation on Facebook. We'll talk about that later on this morning. Uh, and as long as we're on the subject of school, there's been some headlines about new, uh, kind of a gross subject, but it's something that happens when school year rolls around. Uh, new headlights policy from the CDC. We'll mm. dive into that subjects so parents can be aware of what to know about that coming up a little bit later on this morning teddy swims now you're mixing away mix what morning brew good morning and happy wednesday so we're getting back into the uh into the school year thing here first couple days for some schools and with that a lot of parents have a lot of things to consider is your microphone yeah that's great <laughs> notice the buttons check check your mute button there Oh, all right. Well, grab that microphone over there. That unit is dead. This unit is a. Oh, wow. There we. Hi. It's a little different over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's fun. We'll have to. That's fun. <laughs> get our engineer on that. Uh, so, <laughs> with the back to school season, uh, something that uh, you hope you never have to deal with, but sometimes does happen. Headlace, a uh, thing that some parents 
may have a run-in with through the course of the school year. Of course, as kids get back together. Uh, so there are some news stories from some uh, TV stations around the country that have been mm. reporting about some new guidelines from the CDC. New guidelines, you say? And so I, I looked into it a little bit further, and I found out they're not exactly new, new, but they might be new compared to what you remember from when you were a kid. So... If uh, you had, when I was a kid, we just brought everybody over to the house and everybody got the lice. <laughs> oh no, that was chicken pox. I'm yeah, sorry. I was gonna say the, the, that the, was chicken pox. Yeah. My bad. Different. That lice, a little different. <laughs> Y'all have lice. Have fun. <laughs> All the cousins who get together, we like, spread the head lice. No, Gross. no wrong. Gross. Rub your heads together. So, so the the uh, the guidelines are actually about a decade old, but the. The news to be aware of is because it might be different than what you remember as a kid. Is you don't have, the the schools don't have to send kids home anymore because it used to be policy. And I can remember this. There was a little outbreak among some folks when I was uh, in elementary school, and they were sending kids home um, if they ended up finding lice. The nurse was doing her thing to you know right. check everybody's heads and everything else, and they were sending kids home early. You know, had to call the parents and everything else. Well, that's what is new, but that's not exactly like new this year. It's new as of like within the last ten years, but. The, the thing to know about that is it is newer policy. So if you do end up in a situation where you do get that phone call from school, the thing to know is apparently they're not sending kids home early. So well, basically what the current guidelines are from the CDC is... Keep spreading it. <laughs> apparently. Among the school. So apparently the kid stays in school through the day. The kid goes home at the end of the day, at the end of the school day. Supposed to get treatment, and then it's a matter of they don't come back until they get a, a good treatment. You know, the old shampoo. Oh, so you can thing. stay there the rest of the day, but yeah. you can't come back. Right. And so the the other part of Makes that. Makes sense. Sure. The other part of that is they, they say that, uh, you know, you get the lice treatment that night. They can be back the next day. Um, they go into some details about, you know, the, 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 the nits, the, excuse me, the, the eggs, if you will, that's okay. what those are called. Uh, they might be in, in the in the hair and on the scalp for a matter of a couple of days afterward, and that's previous. It is gross. Blech. Previously, that was the thing: is there needed to be no signs of anything. But now they say, well, you might have that still in your hair after did they the use treatment. Like, did they use like chopsticks? <laughs> like a, I just remember like them like kneading my hair as sure. a child with like wooden sticks, and I was like, well, why are you using chopsticks to go through my hair? Uh, uh, maybe some I don't, I don't remember that it's pretty old but um I know that there of course with part of the, the treatment policy I remember hearing all about the fine the really fine tooth comb mm, um, yes 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 that was another part of it too so it, it is just a gross subject and I know that yeah. but it's something that you got to deal with so of course how do you prevent this how do you avoid this even being a thing it's tricky cuz it, it's Home school well <laughs> yeah because the the problem is the CDC says in their guidance, uh, the the most common people to get head lice are kids ages three to eleven, and they say no head to head or hair to hair contact. Don't share hats. Don't share scarves. Don't share coats. Stuff like that. But when you've got a four year old, for example, or a five year old, how are you going to get them to remember that You're when not. they're at school? You're not. You're not. So not. you can tell kids at home and try to remind them of those things as best you can. But lice is. Lice is lice. Happen. So you can read a little bit more. There's also like how to Some find great them, pictures like that. It's all great on the pictures. mixed mobile. Great lice and pictures too. Com. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, gross. But anyway, that's the deal. So if you're seeing or hearing about some new guidance, it is new maybe from when you were a kid, but it's not new like this year new. Mm -hmm. So, but the kid gets to stay at, at school for the, the rest of the day. Now, individual school policies may vary a little well, bit from yeah, school to school. I was going to say, district to district, they could probably make individual policies, the, I imagine. And, yeah, they, they can have different, but the overall guidance from the, the CDC is mm. they can stay there at the end of the day. And the, the goal behind that change on the front end and then also on the back end where after they get a treatment, they can come back as soon as maybe the next day. That goal is to try to avoid kids missing school more than, you know, maybe, maybe at, not at all. Right. So that's the whole goal. That's the the end situation there. So there you go. That's what you need to know. I feel itchy now. I know. On a much less gross note. Gross. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Well, it depends on your situation. <laughs> so uh, we're asking the question this morning. What is the? Um... Uh, no, my computer's way over here. Oh, okay. I forgot how the question was worded. Yes. Okay. Uh, what? What is the it? <clears throat> what was the it look 
for the first day of school back in your day? Like, what was it? Okay. Do you remember? Oh. So we talking I mean, like, we're talking like your, you know, your formative, you know, your middle school, high school years. Like the really memorable. When yeah. you started picking your own outfits. Sure. Let's make, let's make that okay. clear. You know, like Rose probably started picking her own outfits last year, this year into middle school. Whereas, you know, like mom picked out outfit before. Sure. You know. Sure. Okay. That's fair. So what, what was the it look for the first day of uh, school back in your day. 7402 Mix is our phone number if you want to give us a call and talk about this. We'd love to hear your story, if it's a good or a terrifying story, of your first day of school and that it look that you were hoping to nail. Maybe you nailed it. Maybe you didn't. 7402 Mix is our phone number. Mix, what are we morning, Brew? Good morning and happy Wednesday. All right. Back to school season, lots of folks getting back into it. And uh, so we're thinking back on fashion trends from our formative years of school. And, you know, I, I thinking more about this, yes, fashion is great, but we could also talk about those other trends like, let's say, trapper keepers. Everybody had to have oh, a trapper yeah. keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, the Lisa Frank stuff. I, you might be too. You might be too. That was still a thing for still, the. Yeah, okay, I remember, remember seeing a lot of it around that school. Lisa of the bright colors and yeah, the. Yeah. I don't know the animals, the yeah. unicorns, and all yeah. that. That Lisa Frank look was big. You know that stuff too. We can talk about seven four zero two mix. Like if you had that. Like I remember having this really cool trapper keeper one year that I was so pumped to go to school with. Nice. Like I thought I was. You know. The man wearing, you know, not wearing. Well, I yeah, I was wearing my Trapper Keeper. <laughs> I was like Flavor Flav. I had it around my neck, you know, like a necklace. Fantastic. On a chain. Not very heavy or anything. <laughs> Those things, remember, they like the Velcro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> very discreet. Need to open this up. <sighs> right. 7402 Mix. What was that it look when you went back to school or... Or the it thing when you went back to school. What was it? I remember one year I had to have hammer pants, right? Because MC <laughs> Hammer was 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 the thing. So they were black uh, hammer pants with, I believe, white polka dots on them. Couldn't be uglier. Wow. Um, and I remember they were pretty expensive. I want to say they were like <coughs> 40 bucks or something. Back when you know that's a that's a pretty yeah yeah when I was a kid you know when I was a kid when hammer pants were popular forty bucks was you know a lot of money for pants a lot of money yeah so uh, yeah I I bought them and I didn't want to wear them the first day of school because I was like well let's let's see if other people are wearing them first sure and of course sure. not a soul in school nobody. Was, I thought for sure half the school would be wearing hammer and pants. And you went to a bigger school, oh, it was too. A big, yeah, it was yeah. a big school down in the Twin Cities, you know. Hundreds, thousands, I don't know. Sure. Lots of kids. Not one of them oh. was wearing hammer pants. Oh. Well, my mom, she made me one day. She's like, I don't care what day it is, but you have to wear them at least one day. If I paid for those things, you have to, you wear, have to wear them at least one day. So well, one day I mom. begrudgingly... Wore them to school, I believe, after a significant fight, and I, I, I don't know how she made me wear them, but I wore them. What was the outcome? Uh, I don't remember. I mean, there wasn't any negative outcome. I don't remember getting picked on throughout okay. the day. That's, I, that's, I remember like trying to sneak through the hallways quick, you know, in between classes, <laughs> get to class early so nobody would see me in the hallway. You know oh, that type of sure, thing. You sure, know. sure. That's Hiding fair. behind my big trapper keeper. <laughs> So I was thinking yeah, about that was, that was bad, but you know, I was thinking about trends that a, a lot of things I and it was a lot of my my parents going, "You're not wearing that," but you're not in. No, okay, fine, all right, fine. And looking back, I, I generally maybe there's some things I appreciate that I didn't get in on the trends for, but one of the ones that I do remember um, getting in on was the uh, the cargo pants, like the. You know, the, the, the khaki cargo pants. Oh, sure. Like, you're, we're talking like Backstreet Boy in sync kind of era. Kind of. Kind of like that yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. And then. Like, no strings attached era. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking Those about. Those and then, like, rugby shirts. <laughs> like, early Kanye <laughs> yes. West style, okay, you know, I, the, the yes. big stripes. So I did get in a few of those. I remember one year, I think I had to have, like, Jabot jeans. 
Okay. Remember those were a thing? I, yeah. don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but like Jabot or Jabot jeans were like a big thing one year, and I I, I had to have those. And it, and it was always about the shoes, too, with me. Like I sure. needed a cool pair of sneaks to go back to school. And I, I, I still remember. I, I remember my BKs. Wow. My British Knights. I remember my pumps, my Reebok pumps that I had. There's a couple other shoes that I fondly remember from my childhood. But my BKs, those British Knights shoes, yeah. those were the bomb. Oh, boy, I love those. Do, do they even make BKs anymore? I don't, that's a good question. British Knights. Well, you're looking that up. So Serena on her Facebook page says uh, Lakers jerseys with Shaq. Just saying. There's a lot of those, yes. Yep. That was, I remember, so I remember that being a big thing when I was in elementary school, but I kind of toward the end of, or in, in the middle of and at the end of Michael Jordan's prime, mm-hmm. everybody had to have something MJ. Yeah. Whether yeah, it even was. Back in my, yeah, even back in my day, there was a lot of MJ stuff. Whether it was, because at that time, especially when I was in elementary school, mm-hmm. whether it was like a jersey or, of course, the shoes, or he had, he, in a, at one point, of course, he did the the uh, the movie with uh, Space Jam. Space Jam. Yeah. And so there was the combination him and the cartoon characters. A lot of kids had that. They still make British nights. They do. Yeah. Tony's going to do some shopping. I know. I'm like, wow, look at this. They even kind of have like the throwback look like I had. Not exactly, though. <laughs> but that's great. 7402 Mix is our phone number. Uh, give us a call this morning. Talk about those butterfly butterfly clips, Those yeah. that crimped hair that you had to go, go back to school with. <laughs> Tell us about it. 7402 Mix is our phone number. It's the Morning Brew on Mix 108. Mix, what are we, morning brew? Good morning and happy Wednesday. What is a fashion trend that uh, you were excited to or maybe ashamed to have jumped on when you were in school? You get some interesting answers in. Got a uh, message in through the Mix mobile app from Amy saying, so do you remember tight rolling your pants? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Well, I didn't do it, but I remember the trend, yes. Okay. That was that wasn't a thing during my school years, mm-hmm. but I, like I know I know what it is. Mm-hmm. So yeah. okay, there was a there was a time too where neon like neon. I remember having like a neon green, neon orange maybe oh. like shirt. Okay, but it was a. Oh my god! <laughs> I haven't thought about it this in years. It was You're like, in it now. It, no, it was a neon orange, but it was a it was like a midriff. Really? Yeah, it was like a thing back in the like the guys who wear you know like a <laughs> shirt that would come up to my belly button. Wow! Yeah, and show huh. off my you know my abs that weren't there. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. Huh. I I totally forgot about that. Yeah, the neon orange like midriff shirt that I wore. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying to think of. Uh, so is that? Uh, where would that inspiration like I, I well yeah well it was kind of that I'm pretty sure it was like late 80s okay mid late 80s probably and the neon colors were a thing but yeah like the you, you remember you watch like the Top Gun movie when they're like, playing volleyball oh, the guys are wearing sure. like the yeah, midriff yeah, like yeah okay like shirts, like sure. the I I don't know if I'm using the right terminology. But here. I, I think I get where yeah, it's like a cutoff shirt. It okay, comes up halfway <laughs> to your belly. I think I'm using the right terminology. I don't know. Kelly Kelly is on the phone with us, and uh, what you got for us, Kelly? Oh, good morning, guys. Yeah, jelly shoes and slap bracelets. Remember oh, those? Oh, yeah. Clear plastic shoes that came in every color of match. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, those were a big deal, and everybody had this. I have a slap bracelet. That was the ultimate fashion accessory. I did have some slap bracelets, yeah. Sure. Kelly. I do remember that. I didn't have jelly shoes. <laughs> I remember the jelly <laughs> shoes. That was kind of strictly a girl thing. Sure. If I remember right. Yeah. I don't remember too many of my guy friends rocking around in jelly shoes. But yeah, slap bracelets, I had I had some of those. You go slap somebody with them. I remember as a kid getting it like if it was like a McDonald's Happy Meal thing or like I ended up getting one from something somewhere mm. and over time because it had like a a cover on it but it, it, inside it's just a metal band. Well, mm. the metal band ended up coming out of whatever it was in 
And my parents were like, don't play with that anymore because they were worried it was, you know, somebody's going to yeah. hurt or something like that. Right. So. And then the 90s came along, and then we could just, ca- and then I could just kind of grab an old flannel from my uncle or something, and I was uh, cool. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. you didn't yeah. really care then because you were just slapping a t shirt and you a flannel put your on. Sweet midriff shirt on under the flannel. No. <laughs> It was way gone by then. Way gone. When Nirvana hit, I threw that all away. <laughs> no. God, there's got to be a picture of me in that shirt, too, somewhere. Let's make sure that never Put makes... the bat signal off to Tony's mom. No, let's make sure that never sees the light of day. So Matt says oversized hoodies and baggy jeans were a thing for him in high school. Yeah. I, I can remember some friends of mine that, that were... It, it looked like they were... A combination like getting ready for a basketball game slash like M&M mm-hmm. on a regular basis. Because that was like early M&M days and right. like everybody had to do that. And right. that was another one of those trends that I, I didn't, you uh, didn't, you didn't no. take advantage of. No. <laughs> Shame on you. I know. Seven four zero two mix is our phone number. We'd love to hear from you this morning on what was that it look for your first day back at school. You know, back in the day, what what were you rocking? What was that outfit you were just so pumped to wear back to school? Seven four zero two mix. Good morning. This is the morning brew on Mix one zero eight. Live from the Mix one zero eight studio in downtown Duluth. This is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. Well, currently 60 degrees downtown Duluth at the Mix Studio Studios. Looking for a high today, close to 80 today. Partly sunny, breezy. There are some showers and storms to be aware of overnight tonight into the early hours of tomorrow. Some of those could be on the stronger to severe side overnight. Some isolated ones that get into the stronger category. Uh, then we start our cool down for a couple days. We'll see temperatures in the upper 60s for tomorrow with some rain chances. Then maybe 60 at best or so on Friday in the Twin Ports area and across parts of the Northland. Friday night and Saturday night are first frost chances in parts of the region. Uh, more so away from the lake, low-lying areas, but uh, we'll see temperatures in the 30s and 40s overnight those two nights. I know. And then we start our warm-up again after daytime highs in the low 60s. Uh, we'll see some 70s again next week, so don't worry. We're going to rebound some, and we'll get warm again. Thank God. Here, just a second. Um, the... Um the Superior Nightmare 5K is now the new name of the North End Nightmare. It's the wow. uh, Halloween, you know, 5K that they do over in Superior. Um, and uh, it's been renamed the Superior Nightmare 5K. And registration is open now for that event. If you want to get more information, you can hit up the Mix 108 app or go to Mix108.com. But it happens on Saturday, October 26th at 11 a.m. in Superior. And there is also the Spider Dash option Spider for Dash. kids 14 and under for 10 bucks. Okay. Uh, if you want to get uh, registration information and all that stuff about the uh, the brand new, r- newly renamed Superior Nightmare 5K, you can check out the Mix 108 app or go to mix108.com. One of our coworkers is trying to get us to do a 5K. No. When you say 1K. us. No. Is it a 1K? I think it's a 1. What is grandma's doing like a 1K or a I, uh, I, don't I don't even know. know. But yeah, no, Lauren's trying to get you. She hasn't talked to me about this yet. Me and Ken to do uh, this run okay. of some sort. And I was like, well, if you can get the other two to agree, I'll do it because I feel pretty confident that you two will both shut her down. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah, well, sure, flip side, I'm sure I'll do it. So don't call my bluff and both say you'll do it. Flip side, <laughs> you're not wrong, but flip side. I feel like between the three of us, I'm probably the best suited one to do wow, the one K. So wow. now that sounds like a challenge. Wow. Okay. 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 Now it's on. Uh, yeah. I, I had to fire it up a little we'll bit. We'll have to bring Lauren in to see what what this was all about. It wasn't a full five K though. I think okay. it was a it was like a short, a short race run. Okay. of some sort that they're doing, and okay. she's like. Yeah, the grandma's guy was trying to convince okay. wanted us to do all oh, Zach do was? Yeah, Zach. Okay. And uh Yeah, she's she commit committed us. Oh. Tony's getting all choked up over the idea. <laughs> yeah, she committed us to it. Okay. Well, we'll see how that so goes. So I agreed. Only I, if you do it. <laughs> I may or may not be busy. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. See, it's the it's the great thing about being the first to be offered something like that. Like <laughs> yeah, the other two say yes, sure, I'll yeah. do it. Knowing, Genius. Knowing very well that 
I got a good healthy backstop there, or, or I guess as it does unhealthy backstops. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other, however you want to look at it. Oh, man. We're continuing our conversation this morning about uh, fashion trends from your school days. What's one that comes to mind, whether you sported it yourself, either proudly or now looking back at it shamefully? Or maybe it's just one that you remember. Let's I want to hear from, like, the rocker guys, you know, the rocker guys and gals that, you know, were pumped to wear that new Megadeth shirt. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I got my new Iron Maiden shirt. I'm wearing it to school. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's a Mix Away Morning Brew. Oh. Mix what we Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. And uh, continuing our conversation about fashion trends from your school days. And uh, so we got some Facebook messages in. Ronnie says, for example, I'm old enough to have worn cardigans before Taylor Swift sang about them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so... Uh, Ronnie says, first day of kindergarten, brown plaid dress with a white cardigan. Oh, how I love that outfit. That sounds like a nice, nice looking outfit. Yeah. I like the cardigan look. Yeah. It's back, right? It's kind of a classic look. It, like it's, it's, it's come and go as far as like a, a, a big thing, but it's never really gone away. No, I think you're absolutely correct on that. 7402 Mix is our phone number if you want to give us a call. Sharon is on the phone with us. And uh, Sharon, what was your... Uh, go to it look back in your day. Yeah, you're oh. Back in the day, Ferrazzi was all about that 90s grunge look that mm. you guys were just talking about. Oh, I had yeah. the overalls and a baby tee underneath overalls. it. Extra point if you had a flannel shirt on top of it. That was the look. I never had the overall look with the... Uh, I know what look you're talking about. Sure. But I never... I never... I don't... Yeah, maybe I did have a pair of overalls at once, but I did. Not in the 90s. I, that's one thing I did have. You did? Yeah, you, late elementary school, middle school years, I did wear those a few times. Flannel over them or what? Oh, uh, yeah. What did you wear underneath it, though? It was the important thing. You probably didn't have a baby tee underneath I did it. not have a baby tee. No. <laughs> T-shirt, usually, you know. Nice look, I think you should bring that back. I think ah. you, I'd think i like to see you walking around the office with a pair of overalls and a T-shirt <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> That'd be a good look. 7402 Mix. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you this morning. Coming up here in just a little bit, uh, we'll talk with WDIO. And I don't know if you saw this story yesterday that broke, but Travis Kelsey is bringing out the lawyers. What? Big time after a, a, a supposed fake PR contract leaked that may confirm some rumors about the Taylor-Travis relationship. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe it is all just fake. But we'll talk about that coming up, too. It's the Morning Brew on Mix 108. Ah, Mix 108. Good morning. It is the Morning Brew. It is Tony and Nick. So I don't know if you saw this or not yesterday, but it was spreading around the Internet. This PR document. Okay. Now, so the P- So yesterday... Travis Kelsey's representatives were forced to deny that they have plans to split later this month after a document written on the on the on on paper of his US PR company was spread online. So the paperwork, which appears to have been created at the LA based firm Full Scope, reveals a strategy to make their to make their split and says the date for the announcement is coming up on September twenty eighth. <laughs> Well, now that it's out there, they have to move it to October 5th. <laughs> They're definitely going to have to adjust the timeline a little bit, yeah. It also outlines a supposed plan to release an official statement at the end of the uh, at the end of this month, 3 days quote post breakup to allow the quote initial media frenzy to settle down. Okay. To ensure clarity, it adds the announcement will be gracious, respectful and uh, stress mutual respect for each other, laying out what the statement would say they write, example, Travis and Taylor have decided to part ways after careful consideration. They both value and respect each other's personal lives and appreciate your respect for their privacy at this time. <laughs> now, the uh, documents, I don't know. At first glance, they look pretty official to me. It would take a lot of work for somebody to, like, fake this, I guess. But but if you had, I mean, if you had yeah, a little time. time and, yeah, I mean, yeah. You want to you want to make you know, some news. Internet famous, you know. Yeah. Uh, they are both committed to their careers and personal growth. They remain friends and wish 
each other the best, the statement would continue to say if they did break up later this month. The paperwork also also states that the announcement would focus on Mr. Kelsey's, quote, personal growth by framing the breakup as a natural part of life. See, this is where it starts to lose me. Really? This is all great PR speak. This is exactly what you would hear if they did break up. Uh Yeah. I'll buy it. What do, you, what do you think they'd be like? They'd both be like, I hate that. I hate that. She'd be like, I hate that guy. No, Who no, uses no. language? It's a natural part of life in a breakup. PR PR firms? I mean, full scope PR firm? <laughs> Who denies, by the way, and you're getting to that, but they deny that this is even a thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The representative, uh, they, they've called in their lawyers. The full scope says this is... Nobody at the company created this. We've never even talked about it. This isn't a thing. Yeah. This is completely fake. Yeah. Um, the lawyers are out looking for this person. They probably won't find them, though, because, probably. you know, it's, it's floated on the Internet. It's threw up on the Internet. You know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. The whole, I mean, the whole... there's been a lot of speculation that their relationship, you know. Well, that that's the thing is kind of mutual it's benefits. It points that, yeah, that it's a mutual Kind of a, a sh- what they call it uh, in the story, uh, uh, a show rate. Or sh- they used a phrase that basically it's it's all for show. Yeah, is no. the the moral of what they're saying is. And uh, I mean, it's been a while though. Like it's been over a showman's. year now. Showman, there you go. Showman's. It's been a. It's. I mean, since we learned about it, it's been about a year because it was right around the beginning of the football season yeah, last year. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I feel like it's a long time to uh, year long contract. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't believe it, but yeah. I mean, I also wouldn't put it past anybody either. I don't believe it. Sure. But I don't believe that it's you know 100 percent not real. Sure. You know? Yeah, I mm, I don't know. I I mean, a lot of people are benefiting out of this relationship. You're not wrong. I mean, the NFL, Travis, yeah. his brother, yeah. Taylor has got a lot more publicity out of it. Not that she needed any more, but she's gotten, you know. If there was one crowd, she'd probably need to, you know, gain more fans in the NFL. That's probably it. Well, speaking of, don't forget the multi-billion dollar business that is the NFL that's been benefiting from the new fans. I wonder if there's an agreement there between the NFL and Taylor Swift. Ah, not so much Travis and the and Taylor, but more the NFL and Taylor. And not not for the relationship wise, but that she shows up to games, et cetera, okay. et cetera. You know, that type of thing. Just has a presence with the league, if yes, you will. Yes, okay. yes. Not a full endorsement of the league, but she's obviously a fan there. of the league. She's yeah. at games. That's an interesting take. We'll never know the answer. That's the Absolutely thing, you know. Absolutely not. We'll never, ever know. Everybody's got NDAs and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah nobody talking about it. <laughs> no. Except for this leaked document online. The tell-all right. book in 10 years. Well, I'm just waiting to see her play calling this year. That's all I'm looking well, exactly. forward to. Exactly. We talked yeah. about that earlier. Yeah, I, just that, wanna, you know. I just want to see some... Some T Swift plays on the side, you know. I bet in the first couple games we get a, we get a play that she drew up. Or at least was a, you know... Maybe named or something like that, and we end up seeing it. Do we know when the Chiefs play? Well, tomorrow night. Oh, they they're kicking all of that. Yeah, right. they, they kick, they off, kick the off the season tomorrow night. So yeah, they're at home, right? We I believe it's at home. I think they're taking on the Ravens, if I remember she, uh, right. Is she on the road right now? I'm seeing if she's going to be there. Uh, well, her next her next dates aren't until November in Toronto, so she's got a good chunk of the NFL season oh, freed up that. here. I'm. <laughs> She opened up her schedule for a chunk of the NFL season. What? <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. She tours November, kind of through November into early December. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Huh. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to see. But I bet we do see a play because we talked about that earlier about how she was apparently drawing up plays and stuff. I bet. What we- did like? What did like? Uh, um, what's his name? One of the brothers, football player, uh, 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 Manning. Oh, uh, uh, Peyton. What did Pey- Peyton always had like a thing he said on the line? You know, like when he was Omaha. like. Omaha. 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 Yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe they come up with like, eras, eras on two, you know, or. Ah. Maybe, yeah, some sort of a little nod. No, something like that, yeah. 
reputation's a little bit, bit you know, that's a long word and lots rap, of syllables. Rap, rap, rap. Well, that rap, should be. Rap. Trying to think of what else. If there's a possibility there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to. We're going to have to tune in. The NFL wins, Tony. Kanye sucks on two, on two. <laughs> like, oh, Taylor wrote that one. Mix 108 Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Joined by the morning team from WDIO. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Happy hello, Wednesday. Hello. Happy Wednesday to you as well. So we've been talking about back-to-school fashion trends. We, we kind of teed that up a little bit with you off the air. And I know you guys got excited with a lot of things that came to mind. So, <laughs> Yes. So, yeah. let's yes. I think we went through several phases in those days yeah. of what was popular and what was the must-have item. So w- let's lay out a couple of those. What are a few things that come to mind from you guys as standout fashion items must have had or things that you were really excited or are proud to have worn? For me, it was definitely uh, Ugg boots, sparkly, specifically oh, the sparkly yeah. Ugg boots. Okay. I was so jealous of the girls who had those. And then the Columbia zip-up sweatshirts were really big when I was in like sixth grade. And also the Under Armour sweatshirts with the big logo right on the front. Sure. That was also a yeah. big one. Those are the, those are like the Carhartts of now. Or the fight necklaces. Yes. I don't know if you... Ooh, I don't uh, know, yeah, I don't know I don't if anyone's going to remember that I remember, one. Do you remember those... Uh, there was those bracelets with a little sand and the water in them. Yep. Those were very popular. I'm also recalling like statement necklaces or like big headbands big that were headbands. like, that were just kind of over the top and not comfortable at all. <laughs> and then we also had, we went through a big boot phase, like Uggs, but then also like tall boots, like oh. wearing leggings and boots with like a cardigan. There's a lot of like that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot there to there digest. Is, yes. Yeah, I'm like, wow. Well, and like you said, though, I mean, lots Rapid of changing fire. fashion yeah. trends. And you're and making me feel old because I feel like a lot of those were just like yesterday. Like, <laughs> like sparkly well, Ugg boots. I mean, like, at least I'm 10 like, years that was ago. Just that, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking you're to the guy. Like, you're yeah, talking. sparking my, my memory, too. I know. Your guys' back to school looks because I wear those now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what you guys used to wear, we're wearing now. It's a whole never ending cycle. I, I made the comment off the air. I was like, I think I have a couple. Of, I, I, the, the big fashion trend that stood out to me was the, the cargo pants and the and the rugby shirts. And yeah, you mentioned, oh, I think I wear that stuff now. Like, yeah. I should. Cargo pants are so functional. They you don't are. have to bring a purse. There's so many pockets. See, there you go. Okay, you're talking to the guy who like uh, went to school with hammer pants on. You know, uh, that was my. <laughs> like trip pants? Yeah. Do yeah. you ever wear trip pants? Well, oh, trip God. pants. Hold on. Are those like hammer pants? I think so. I feel like they're the same oh, concept, just oh, like the big. No, well, the trip pants are like the the oh, grungy, like yeah, 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 no. yeah. No, the ham- Google hammer pants, and you'll. Okay. They're so not. this is this is. No. Those are. Low. They're not. No. <laughs> this, if, if you're familiar with the, I would have worn the trip pants. The, the hammer the, pants are a bad choice. Oh gosh, MC no, hammer. Not, yeah, I was like, I'm saying MC hammer can't touch this. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. That hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those hammer pants. Those are the ones <laughs> I. I had to have them to go back to. School. My mom bought them for me, and I went to school the first day, and nobody was wearing them. I'm like, oh my god, I'm, gonna I'm never ask, gonna what wear do you them. Style those with because it's not like you have a well, you don't, jacket. You don't. Uh, mine were like black with like white polka dots too. Like it was oh. the worst look ever. <laughs> I think we need photo evidence. No, I don't well, think I. I don't think there is any photos. of <laughs> so this is one thing I mentioned earlier. I'm I'm kind of grateful that my parents were like, you're not wearing and some of the fashion trends that I wanted to jump on. They're like, no, no, you're not doing that. They kind of, they, they kept me. <laughs> they were looking out for you. Before yeah. You knew yeah. It. I should have listened to my mom. She was like, you're, you're not going to wear those. And I'm like, yeah, everybody's wearing them. It's MC Hammer. Woohoo. Please Hammer, don't hurt them. You know? <laughs> and, that is so funny. And yeah, we bought them and. So she forced me to wear them well, at least one day, and I did wear them one day to school. <laughs> yeah, was, you made this decision. You and, must. Yeah, she uh-huh. made me follow through on it. And it was like the worst day of middle school ever. <laughs> let me ask middle you. Middle school's th- tough. Let me ask you this quick: Was there a trend that you were excited about that? Looking back, you're like, mm, maybe that wasn't such an exciting yeah, trend. Hammer pants. Well, not, <laughs> we know that for you, Tony. <laughs> but what about you, uh, Leah and Naya? Trying to think of a good one. I remember those the the yoga pants with the bright I was the bright um, waistband that said pink. That said pink. The Victoria's okay. Secret brand, and they would be like cheetah and neon yellow and like all this colors. And yeah, they were. There's something that I'm happy I don't still have sticking around, but those were 
Those lasted a long time. That people printed leggings printed, in general, yes, like the I had comic book leggings yeah. that I loved. I loved my comic book leggings, and they were god awful <laughs> to look at. Yes, you were obsessed with them in the time, but then now looking back, it's like, and how did we even try and come up with something with these? Yeah, how do you style this? Yeah, <laughs> you, you just don't. That's that's really what it comes you down to. You just wear things. Exactly. Exactly. But. Gotta love back to school fashion. You do, you really do. Because and then it, if any, I doubt they are at this point. If anybody, anybody's going to school, they're probably at school by now. But kids, just just remember that there's some fashions you're gonna look back fondly on, and others maybe not so much. Yes, 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 yes for sure. <laughs> so, Leah, let's uh, let's talk quickly about the the wow. He found the pants. I found a picture of my hammer pants. Wow. Oh, that, you need to send that our that, way, please. Yeah. Would you wear those, Nick? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you wear those, like, in the privacy of your own apartment going to bed? No. 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 Exactly. <laughs> No. If they were the last thing on earth, would you wear them? No. Yeah, not not a good bad. not a good look, no. Tony. Yeah. So, did you specifically pick that color scheme? Because they are I black with white, did, white yeah. dots. I believe they had a whole rack of them, and that's the oh one I picked. Oh, all right, well, I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Leah, let's talk weather real quick. So, we got one more nice day for sure this mm-hmm. week. Yes, and then we're gonna see some storms moving in tonight, and those will last throughout our Thursday morning scenes and pop-up showers, and then we'll be cooling down for the weekend in those 60s. So it'll be a little bit of a start to fall, kind of getting into some cooler conditions, but that sun will come right back out next week and we'll see those mid 70s again. So we're not quite fully making the transition, but we're just having a little baby step into fall. It's a reminder that it is September. Yes, it's a reminder that things are changing, but You can break out maybe some light layers this weekend, but you'll want those t-shirts still for the week to come. What about hammer pants? Good for the weekend? You know, if you're going to be down, it's going to be breezy, so that might be nice to have down by the water. Have this kind of flow in the wind. The flow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There'll be some movement. Mm, Yes, there'll be some (laughs) movement. (laughs) Movement away from me. Yikes, everyone's (laughs) taking a step away. I can't imagine your kids. Dad, what are you wearing? See, now I would, yeah. So now, <laughs> now yeah, you have now, to do it to yeah, see their reaction. I would. I would wear them now as, oh. yeah, just to Order embarrass them. Order up a them. pair. Order up, you just phoned them online. Order up a pair. Well, they're like vintage now. They're like $75, $80. All right, well, find, find the team the, version. They're like vintage. Mm-hmm. We'll have to go to the thrift store. We will. All right, you guys have yourself a good day. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have see a good you. one. Coming up, we're going to kick off your workday 108 minutes commercial free. That includes music on the way free from Doja Cat, Teddy Swims, and more all coming up here in Mix and Wake. Good morning.